welcome to our channel um, so today it will be just a quick video um, to i'll be showing you how we can uh, you know make uh, some smart changes in our uh, devops ci cd pipelines uh, by integrating with azure alerts so this is a cool feature which i recently came across and it helped me in uh, automating one of the process in my project so i believe it will help you so i'll just uh, uh, keep it like really quick and uh, to the point so what we'll do is uh, we have uh, created i mean i have created alerts here in azure um, I'll, i'll explain you what exactly the alert is doing um, meanwhile So basically, the whole concept is we have this uh, pre-deployment gates option in you know while while we are deploying uh, to any kind of environment. So uh, if you see here, this is my pipeline which I've created. So uh, like I said, to just keep it you know a simple and uh, very short, I've not added any tasks or anything. So let me just explain you the pipeline. So ideally, your release pipeline would be you will have your artifacts, your DLL files, or whatever here, and then uh, you would be maybe deploying to QA and then uh, post the approvals and uh, post the QA team do the testing here. Uh, you would want to move it to prod. This is a, like an ideal pipeline, right? uh however uh suppose there is a use case i mean you if you must be already knowing about the features like you know where you can uh, um add a pre deployment approvals like you know maybe a manager or some project lead or someone we can add it here apart from that there is an option where we can add gates here so this would be evaluated these gates would be checked and only when they are succeeded pro uh, only then the next stage will uh, go ahead okay so what i have done here is i have for the second stage i have added i have enabled the gates now let me explain you okay so here uh, if you see what uh, what we have done is we have enabled the um, azure uh, azure monitor alerts so let me just delete this and uh, just show you from the starting so i have disabled it okay uh, saved it now if you see this is like your normal pipeline where you don't have any kind of uh, approvals right sorry gates correct so let me do one thing let me just add a enable this so the first option it would ask you is the delay before evaluation so basically uh, gates is like it, it, you are asking azure to uh, sorry the devops are azure basically to uh, check some particular you know um uh, feature some particular uh, attribute before going to the next stage that is what you do so you you can give a delay of maybe 10 minutes or 5 minutes or something like that let me just give it 5 minutes now deployment gates here is where you can add it so when you click here you have different options so uh, like you can see uh, you can uh, so you can integrate azure policy compliance okay so only when some particular suppose you know just a use case uh, you are trying to deploy some arm templates or something like that right so you want some azure compliance which you have created on your uh, subscription like the you know uh, the naming format should be like this or something any it, it can be any policy which you want your uh, you know environments to follow so you can associate it with those or you can have a azure function which can be you know Uh, uh like you know you can uh, uh, monitor that however what today i'm going to see, uh, show you is how you can integrate a monitor alert so that means suppose when i select this so that means only when this alert is uh, whatever the settings you're going to give here right uh, like i'll show you whenever that alert it tri is triggered or you know uh, fired or closed or based on your settings it only then the next stage will happen that is what you are setting it here that's that's called a deployment gate so here uh, this is just a name so what i'll do is first you would have to connect it to your subscription so um yeah so i'll select this this is my subscription uh, when you do it for the first time it might uh, give you an option like uh, you know you have to authorize it so just go ahead and do that or you can uh, if you have like these are the service connections so if you have a service connection for that particular subscription um, you can just go ahead and select that so next i will uh, select my resource group where the alert is there right so here uh filter type alert tool okay so i already have a alert rule 
in this resource group so test hyphen rg is my resource group where i have created this alert rule alert 007 so let me just take you here now so if you see alert 007 this is the alert rule which i created so uh, the logic is pretty simple like i said uh, the video is uh, uh, very short just to explain you how we can integrate it you can fit it in your use case okay i have just taken a use case where what i'm doing is my so my scope i mean uh, i am trying to monitor this particular uh, test hyphen rg that's the resource group and the condition which i have given is whenever anyone is moving resources from this resource group okay to any other resource group that is when this alert will be fired so this is a normal uh, like you know um, so if i go to edit signal move resource group so this is like an inbuilt uh, you know uh, one of the signal which is present uh, so i have just selected this okay so basically this alert will be triggered whenever in this test hyphen rg there is a some some xyz resource like a storage account or a keyword or anything whenever any person in your team is trying to move those resource this alert will be triggered so this is just a simple use case where you know uh, ideally might not be used but it can be used in in case of like you know uh, suppose your adf pipeline is there and uh, you want a trigger to be you know uh, you want an alert to trigger whenever the adf pipeline is succeeded and based on that you want to make some changes or something like that okay so it can be anything just have created an action group where i will get a mail that is uh, just another feature so uh, this is the alert right so coming back to our pipeline i have configured here i have integrated this alert rule to the ci cd pipeline so before my stage this particular uh, this particular alert will be constantly um, I, I, on regular intervals it will be monitored and only when the the, the so if you see here there are some more uh, filters which we can give so cbrt uh, you know i am you can just select all or suppose any any particular thing for now i just select all and uh, yeah time range in the past like you know past hour yeah or you know the past seven days if, if you want to check then you can just select that as well uh, alert state new or acknowledged and uh, uh, ideally you can just select all so any kind of alert alerts so basically whatever is your alert state so what i will do is here i will select closed okay yeah so what what i'm trying to do here is i want the stage two to be uh, initiated only when i close a alert okay which i will be showing you okay so this stage two will uh, be triggered only when this particular any kind of alert is having a closed uh, status in this alert rule right that is that is the simple thing which we are going to do however it is saved okay now so let me do one uh, so i'll go here uh, so according to our alert rule the alert will be triggered when i move resources from this resource group test hyphen rg so i already have a key vault here in the test hyphen rg okay so let me try to move this to another resource group okay so let's do this so i want to move it to my sample rg anything so this takes some time uh, to validate like you know um, can it be moved like in this case it's a simple key vault but otherwise if it is some other kind of resource where you know a virtual machine where there are dependent dependencies like a nic card and networking components so it would validate all that so i'll just uh, um, uh, fast forward this session let let it uh, let it just validate Yes, so as you can see now uh, it has validated Azure has validated that we can move this resource. So let me go ahead Yeah, so it has started it is trying to move the uh, key vault from test hyphen rg to the other uh, subscription Okay, sorry other resource group now So Yeah, so once the uh, resource is moved, the uh, alert should be triggered. So meanwhile, what we will do is, let's create a release for this. So let's go to the logs. So it is in stage one right now. Um, it is trying to find a agent.
yeah this will uh, not take much time as i've just kept it empty now let's go so right now if you see let's go to the logs so it is trying to uh, you know check for the gates right deployment gates so as you can see as it is an azure monitor alerts it is trying to uh, find out um at uh, uh, you know parallelly check if this particular conditions what we, whatever we have set is is you know uh, validating so let's see if uh, there is our test hyphen rg yeah so this vault is still here it is still in the process so it it usually takes some time right so yeah so let's just wait we'll fast forward so as you can see here uh, the alert is generated alert 007 that's the alert right uh, so let me i want to give it as closed so this alert is now closed so yes guys i have fast forwarded the video now and as you can see uh as all the gates are succeeded it has gone to the stage 2 so see here you can see pre deployment gate succeeded and that's how it went to the stage 2 okay so as you can if we come back here right let's refresh so you can see that uh, it is as as the alert is closed that was what we had said right so once the uh, so you can just check the gates here and you can check the logs here so see this was the basically in the back end what it is trying to do is making it making maybe making an api call to you know this particular uh, uh, monitor alert which whichever we have set and based on the condition if the response code is okay that means if the alert is actually there that is when it is triggering the stage 2 okay so that was the uh you know that's the use case of these pre deployment uh, gates uh, like i said apart from this you also have you can also configure it uh, integrate it with policy compliance in your azure environments okay and you can just explore the different things so i hope this was helpful you can use it in you can try using it in some any of your use cases right thank you thank you so much for your time if you have any queries or something you can post it in the comments below also if you are requiring any kind of training or something like that uh please reach out to us you can post it in the comment or mail it uh, in the details which are mentioned in the you know details of this channel thank you so much